Thank you, Spirit, baby. I love Spirit, baby. Whoa, oh, ain't it so? I'm gonna teach you anything that I know, but you can't steal it, baby. Whoa, oh, baby. Whoa, oh, what can I believe? Ain't it so? Uh oh, that is, that is, oh, 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 what's on a biblical baby? Uh oh, uh, oh, and what about Asia? You're oh, wow, 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 ain't it so? Uh oh, 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 baby, you're oh. What about authority, baby? Okay, so here's what I got you guys. And nobody has permission. I put two decks together because um, that's that's what I like doing. Um, and a lot of people steals that now, I notice. But it's okay. Okay, so this is about perfect timing. And now is the perfect movement for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate. As all of the ingredients are ripe for your success, everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Did you hear that? It's all about perfect timing, baby. This was a blessing in disguise. What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way and i do and i thank you for that and i do believe in heaven and so here's what come out this is about your belief and i love you spirit how you told this story and the frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source so your belief is you're strongly connected to the source and you are because spirit just told you up here this was a blessing in disguise. You you know, things ain't going to go the way you, you thought that it would. If you put it in divine's hands, it all comes when divine wanted it to happen. And it'll all fall into place. That's what that means. That's what that meant. If if you was um, damned and determined to have that one outcome, it's not going to happen that way. It'll fall into place ever so gently the way it's supposed to. This is about your vows. You believe in your vows. That's why it come out. You you believe in your vows. And these people that that do, that doesn't believe in their vows, um, well, you don't need to watch me. I believe in my vows, my marital vows. And there's nobody that's going to tell me that I am in a karmic relationship. A lot of people say that you are if you do a practice. Like, well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You you can live through all this shit with your partner and rise above it. Did you all know that? But anyways, I'm telling you right now, your belief about you had vows back in the biblical times, and like me, I believe my lineage, and you know, you're teaching others that you got to uphold these vows in the day's time. You can't just walk off from these vows. You, you, I mean, a lot of you might want to, but that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do things uh, with a pure and honest heart, with your person, with your partner. That's how it's supposed to be. But I'm telling you right now, back in the old days, you had a farm. Back in the Bible days, y'all farmed together. And uh, if you like me, y'all live on a farm right now. So in biblical times, you lived in a farm. And in real life right now, you live on a farm. Oh, I love you, Spirit. It, oh, and, and Asia is where you're going to find all your finances. Somebody's going to, this is, you had a lot of wealth back in the days. And. Maybe you do, you maybe you used to trade from Israel to uh, Asia. Y'all y'all had a trade going on. Uh, maybe you got silk from Asia uh, or uh, something like that. You traded the Asians something like that, and and this is how you gained your finances back in the old days. And uh, spirits also saying that these days right now that your vow that somebody appreciates you enough out here that. When they pass away, you're going to receive finances, and it could be from somebody in Asia. And the reason I said that, I'm using my discernment. I had a reading the other day from Quarries, and it said that somebody's going to leave you some money on the opposite end of the world, and that's where the opposite end of the world will be. I love you. If you're in Asia, I love you. 
and I teaching you about using your all's discernment and you know this is the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment yet with compassion and wisdom see and that's what I do and that's why I put these cards with these old past life cards uh, so you can see that it all tied in and you know uh, Use your discernment with these children that's feeling orphaned. Uh, maybe in a past life, you had to give a kid up and uh, you still hold on to that within you. Or it could be that, you know, if you're like me, you got uh, sexually touched as a child and just remember to go inside. See how this little girl's hugging herself? Remember to go inside and remember yourself as a little girl. And I want y'all to hug yourself like that and know that you are, you're okay, you're safe, 555, and you're loved. And, and please change and do what I'm asking y'all right now. Uh, you children, uh, if you was orphaned by your parents, I, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, I, I don't. I wish I had some more words to tell you how sorry I am and it about makes me cry about how some kids have to live through things and and these authority figures in our life uh they didn't help us you know and I thought I hope that y'all take the authority to uh, go outside and hug this tree today that's why it come out you little children it feels orphaned <laughs> I feel for you little children. Uh, I feel for you the ones that's had to lose a mommy or daddy to death, you know, and they was the main person that took care of you. I feel for you and I love you. And the frequency of, of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. See? And I want you to know uh, that take the authority to love yourself daily, uh, people. Even if you don't have a lot of money right now, know one day that if you put it in divine's hands, they will be a blessing coming to you in disguise. And you just got to believe it. And you need to go outside and connect in nature today with trees. Just go outside and walk around in the trees and look up and you're, you'll notice things that you never noticed before and you need to go outside and do it today you need to get your little sunlight and look at the sunlight through the trees like how this is doing this will help you today um, and it'll get a little better nothing is easy in this life and i know you all I've, you know uh, i've lived through the hardest thing that you can do is to bury a child and that's something that you'll never forget in your life it's That's the hardest thing that a parent has to do is to see your kid take its own life. And some of these people, they don't even care. They don't even care about their family. Or healing their family. And it's sad. <laughs> but let me read this to you. Uh, so... There's nobody that could change your beliefs that you had a vow back in biblical times to come here to this day and be on this farm that you're at. And I do live on a farm to talk to people in Asia, different walks of life. That's how you're going to receive your finances because you use discernment. You can talk to these children that feel orphaned by parents. I, I, my brother died and I know that his boys feel orphaned and I, it makes me sad. But uh, uh, this is about, you know, you being sensitive and showing others what uh, true authority looks like. You got to let your emotions flow about things. And then we got the Merkaba. This is about movement, long distance travel. You know, you might have to move and maybe you're manifesting this movement. You're, you're seeing things with a multi-dimensional perception. You're, you're, a, you're in attunement to all that is around you at the moment and you've actually seen true orbs and you see how them orbs looks electrical on the inside. I can show you some pictures from the funeral home if I can find them you all. 
because somebody went through all my pictures and if I can find them, I'll show y'all what a true orb looks like, what a true spirit looks like, I'll show you, okay? So y'all gotta remind me, remind me to find them pictures so I'll show you. Uh, it's about Pladeans, this about you giving unconditional love to, to you, yourself, and to others. It's about excitement and laughter, or it come twice excitement, so. You're excited on your new path, and there's no way they can knock you down off of your path, you know. And maybe you saw a, a UFO. See how it looks like UFOs at Christ or something. I don't know what they are, but I mean, it has to be what it is. But maybe you saw one like I have. <coughs> and maybe you're a water sign since Alpha Centurions come out. The Alpha Centurions, and this is about foresight and planning and strategy. You're somebody that knows how to plan and and you know how to strategize. You're very smart and wise. And uh, the blue avians, uh, this you're you're very wise in your strategy and doing your philosophical practice. You know how to re this about you releasing karma and mysticism. You know, I have released my karma, you guys. Don't think, don't think that I ain't. And we all are from different walks of life. So we all uh, can grow within these partnerships and not run away from them. I mean, but sometimes you have to. It depends on who you're all living with. I, I got a good man. I got a good man, and I've taught him a lot. And he's taught me a lot. And this is about they saw a shapeshifter around. And, or you, this is talking about you can shift. You got a skill at nav navigating through different levels of consciousness. You have the ability to see the potential and everything. That's all it means. Your beliefs are powerful. You're helping these damsels out here and pretends they're a damsel in distress and they need saving. And uh, they, they, these women are getting seduced by romantic illusion. You're telling them to change your perception. That romantic illusion is false. It's fake. Go after somebody that really wants you. Don't be in that mindset of this person that don't even want nothing to do with you. Why do you think, you, you know, you got to change your mind on that, women. You, and uh, you, you're waiting on a night to take care of you, and, and you're getting seduced. And that's not me, you all. That's not me. You know, uh, me and my old man, we do things uh, together. You understand, like, what I give, he doesn't. What he gives, I do. Do you understand? That's the only way to do it, Marge. I, I'm not breaking my vows. Oh, because we, we're from this. And uh, you, you're teaching others that uh, learning to go it alone. You're telling this damsel, go it alone. Go on your path and do it the way you want to do. My old man knows I sit here and do this. He's here a lot of times. I do readings. Um, he's with me, you know. And I'm sorry that some of y'all don't have a partner out there, but it doesn't mean that it's not coming to you. But you can't wait on a partner to do everything for you. No, you can't. You know, and uh, since Orphan came out twice, they somebody that's really feeling orphaned at the moment. And and maybe your child is going it alone. Maybe cause they're conquering their fears. They're conquering their fears. Maybe you got a daughter that's conquering her fears, fears or a son that's conquering their fears at the moment and doing things on their own. Good, I'm proud of you. And, uh, you, you know, you're helping others to recognize and confront their addictive behavior. Stop doing things over and over again, you know. You can't do that. And I'm teaching this to my kids and everybody around that's listening to me. Stop doing shit over and over again. You're going to get the same outcome. It's foolish to be, it's foolish to be addicted to dumb shit. It's foolish. You know, this is revealing your emotion. I just reveal my emotion. I know how to cry, you know. Helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy, you know. And that's what... You're helping these addicts laugh about their dumb shit they did. <laughs> and uh, here comes Prince. So Prince, this woman was working on, waiting on her night. Well, here he is. He's going to come bring you some flowers. He come out, whoever you are, okay. <laughs> he wants to network with you. Uh, he, he sees that you engender social awareness and empathy for others. And he wants to, he wants to share... He's wanting to share in your information and wealth, probably, and because he knows that you're a messiah. Uh, you're serving humanity with humility, and uh, you're an advocate. You do things with compassion, and you're teaching others that they can rise above any challenge that they have in their life. The only, you and your person can rise above all these challenges. You just got to... Uh, 
You just got to figure out how to do it. You got to talk about your problems and your issues and get through it. That's talk about it. Don't don't just bury it deep down inside. If you bury it deep down inside, your relationship's going to end. And that's why a lot of y'all's relationships ended you all because you buried that shit. You didn't talk about it. And you know, and I can tell you, I've, I've done a lot of dumb shit, man. I'm not a coward. I'm not a coward. I can talk about it. I'm not a coward. That's the difference in me and a lot of these readers. I'm, I'm not a coward. And I appreciate my loyal support for understanding this about me. I appreciate y'all very, very much. And I thank you. And uh, let's see what else to give you. I'm going to give you some, some of my messages. Let me find some more down here to mix with you guys. Now, some of these you ain't seen. I just pulled them out of my hat box today, all right? Some of them y'all ain't seen. All right? This first stack right here y'all ain't seen, okay? Spirit, spirit, tell us a message. How I love you so. I want to show these people that you're true. Cause I know it is you. La 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 la. A la 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 la. And I tell you something really true. And I want to tell you. Do deep a top a day. Because there must have been new ones. I didn't see them. Okay, okay, no kid, you guys. We got we got some good ones that I never seen. Oh, that was a special. What it said? Get your shockers in line now, people. Did you see how it fouled out like that? You better be doing it now. Oh, that's what spirit said. You better be doing it now. Wow. What else? Woo. Wow, we woo woo. Oh, wow, we woo. And I tell you what, really true. Top of the people, tell us a something. And I love your spirit very much. Top of the people, top of the do. Top of the people, top of the he. Okay, that's all we're getting, you guys. Alright, let's see what it says. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what it said tonight, baby. I'm gonna mix them around here, baby. Boop, 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 boop. Don't go nowhere, my friends. I love you guys. My loyal supporters. You're gonna get a good message over here now, you guys. Woo! Some went between our legs. Deal but dee dee, but deal the do, and I deal the da 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 do. Okay, so if you're living in Florida, 1818, if you're living in Florida, shout out to you, Florida. So this message might pertain to you, Florida. Oh, somebody's in regret. They in regret. And uh, these people, they see you as a healer and as a teacher and as the wise one with a lot of knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they can't stop looking at your photographs. They can't stop now. They can't stop. And uh, just keep your calm spirit. You're about to go huge in your life. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's why they're in regret. <laughs> keep calm. Keep calm. Uh, support from your mom and dad through these changes. Oh, wow. So your mom and daddy support you and they love you. And photograph says, I've always been comfortable in my own skin. Oh, yeah. They love looking at your beautiful skin. And you're psychic. And the people around you are realizing this now. Ooh, they're realizing this. And you can't stop a divine feminine from receiving her justice. Oh, did you hear that? You can't stop. You can't stop a divine feminine from getting her justice. You can't. Okay, you you're going to receive it. And it's been really lonely here without you around, and that's why they're in regret. And you're keeping calm because you're going huge. And uh, if you make me feel like shit, wow. I wonder how you treat me when I'm not around your ass. Oh, wow. So. 
somebody treats you like shit when you're not around and uh, they can't stop looking at your photographs and you're somebody that's comfortable in your skin and because you got your shoppers in line and you're a psychic and people look up to you and you can't stop a divine fear of shooting or justice and you're like respect me and all the things will mesh very well see see and and women that try to fix these broken men honey you ain't never gonna fix these men only god will fix him for good see that's why i put in god's hand god's fixes them for you see that's the thing 2020 god fixed my problem that i had you know i was in illusion thought thought somebody else was better you know and i still got my old man i put it in god's hands and he loves me still and i love him still and we ain't broke we've had a lot of broken shit happen to us but we're not broke see that's that's how you do it and uh somebody's sister-in-law out here is always trying to outdo you or one-up you but god sees all and he will he's gonna fix that don't worry and the devil wants his payment and y'all can't win with the devil y'all can't win with the devil so uh they some devil man around can't stop looking at your beautiful skin and your photographs Ooh, it's then they're in a secret society they're in a secret society and you're saying respect me don't be putting me in old down secret I, i'm not joining your secret society they're in stress and regret because they know it's justice that's being served and i'm saying a prayer for all you strong ones out here like me i'm saying a prayer for you and you can talk and connect with your animals and spirits and you can heal them or ask god to take them if they're sick see that's what true people can do if you're really truly connected with your animals and if, if the, you know they're bad off like my old dog katie she went there in a bathroom and she was looking at me and she was sick and i said katie i love you she'd been sick for months you all and I told her, I said, Katie, honey, I know you've been living for the past month for mommy. And, and if you don't want to live anymore, you don't have to stick around here for mama. I love you. And I petted her. And she licked me and gave me a kiss. And within 30 minutes, she passed away. And I was so sad that day. And she was the beautiful thing I ever seen when she passed away. And I, I don't know, but I know when my dogs and animals ain't feeling good. And someone dreamed about their spirit baby last night. The child wants to be brought into your lives. Oh, somebody had a dream about their spirit baby. That ain't for me. That's for you all. I wrote that for you all. And you can't buy my love, so stop trying to. Somebody's in regret and stress. They, they just want to buy your love. And uh, rise up job discrimination people plotting on you at your job planning on never giving you a raise rise up about that shit don't let them discriminate you justice is being served over at and throw your voodoo and i will still sleep good but you won't because i returned it so there you go voodoo queens back to you and uh they can't manifest not one damn thing and she wishes that she could and we'll send their old drug friends to befriend you no we don't want your old buddies and a some mother-in-law uh, that is not to be trusted by any means. She is the devil in disguise. So somebody's mother-in-law out here is a devil in disguise. And uh, and I didn't say it about my mother-in-law. I just wrote that on card because I know that there's a lot of wicked people in the world. And uh, they are the perfect kind of wicked. God help these evil beings. Did you hear that? Ooh, that's creepy. Someone's getting ready to be going through a death of a partner, and I'm sorry for your loss. Ooh, it might be that mother-in-law. Her husband's dying, and she's the perfect kind of wicked. Sorry, you guys. I don't know if you've seen that, but I did. My phone's about to die. It says your energy is better, better than they ever saw. And a miracle is coming to you, Aquarius. You're going to be famous for your new endeavor that you're doing, and get into the mindset as it's already here. I do. I do. And the laws of the universe is at play. Ooh. They're at play for you. It's in Florida. Somebody's in stress. Let me see what else. And they're going to send their old drug friends to befriend you. Are you listening to whoever lives in Florida? And uh, I'm saying a prayer for all you strong. And the devil wants his payment. And y'all can't win with the devil. Ooh, did you hear that? That's the only ones I see that color. And, uh, 
you're speaking about job discrimination and uh, how you never got a raise and they can't manifest nothing because you're not around anymore. And this mother-in-law, she's not to be trusted by any means uh, because she's throwing voodoo at you. And she and somebody's in a secret society and uh, someone's in a secret society and they are the perfect kind of wicked and God help these evil beings. But you can't, God knows that. Respect me, you evil beings. Get out of my fucking energy. You can't stop a divine feminine from receiving her justice and what's hers. You're a psychic. People seize it. Somebody can't stop looking at your pictures because you're comfortable being in your own skin because you got your chakras in line and a miracle's coming to you, Aquarius, in your new job and somebody dream about their spirit baby and they're getting ready uh, and uh, you can talk and connect with your spirit and with your animals. And uh, if you make me feel like shit, wow, I wonder how you treat me when I'm not around you. That's what your sister-in-law does, treats you like shit when you're not around. And now she wants support from you again and your mom and dad. and. People see you, uh, people can see right through all that though, and people can see that you're a healer and a teacher, and very wise. And someone's getting ready to go through the death of a partner. Your energy is better than anyone's. They're in regret. You just keep your calm spirit. You're about to go huge in your life. Justice is being served. You can't buy me love, so stop trying. Women that try to fix these broken men, you can't, you'll never fix them. It's been really long to hear about you around. That's what somebody said now, okay? That's what somebody said. They've been really missing you, whoever's listening to me. Whoever that person is, they miss you so much. And uh, I love you guys. And uh, I hope it's ready to help somebody out here today. And I hope you get whatever you want. Let me, let me, let me do you a little baby. Can we have a little baby? Little baby message. Little baby message. Somebody's at a crossroads. They got a different way to go, and they don't know if they should go. It they stuck in their mind, and it ain't made you guys. And, and you went a long way on this spiritual journey. You went a long, long, long way now, and people seen it now. People seen it. Oh wow, spirit! Don't put about twenty-eight. And uh, oh, so, so, somebody out here that's at a crossroads. They went a long way, and their ass is on the way to prison now. So they on the way to prison. Who going to prison? Who is it? Oh wow, spirit. Whoever it is, it's in their gloomy thoughts. They can't stop thought that thinking about whoever died. They're, maybe somebody uh, is in their thoughts because they let someone die around them. Maybe they let their partner die. Uh, see, this man's getting ready to jump off that cliff. Maybe somebody actually did die and uh, their partner knew it. Like their partner let them die in their pathway. Oh, it's fucked up, ain't it? Sounds like it. You're somebody who is uh, respected in your community. You're you're high honors. What else? And this military man, he's in his thoughts about you. Somebody that's in the military, you know. They could be in the army, or they could have been years ago, but they're in. They can't stop being in their thoughts about this crossroads. What about under crossroads? the moon uh yeah because it's an illusion that's what moon means this this was an illusion like this is why it pulled out under that for me because i told you about my life i was in an illusion i didn't have no damn other way to go i was just it was crazy thinking have y'all ever had crazy thinking you guys but somebody's hiding lies and you come a long way and this thief is going to jail whoever stole from me is going to jail whoever stole from you they're going to jail it come to light. Look, it come to light. It, you're, you told on your channel it come to light. And this person that's in her gloomy thoughts over death. And what else are they in her gloomy thoughts about? They're in guilt over someone dying, it looks like. Yeah, and, and they're in her gloomy thoughts because they had somebody else see on two women behind him. And he don't know which one to choose. That's why Crossroads come out. That's why you see that card. And, he, and he's in grief and adversity and up in his head because he knows his ass is getting ready to die or go to prison, one to the other. That's what it just said. Oh, and it's in your work occupation. Whatever work you do, somebody's getting ready to die. Somebody's getting ready to die in your work occupation. And, and look, person of high honors, you got the keys to the kingdom. And uh, this is about, you know, uh, a doorway. This is about... 
I can't see. This is about unlock. Oh, I am dang cards fell. You, you're somebody that knows knowledge. It's about your destiny. You're, you're going through the door, through the threshold. That's what it said. So this is your destiny, and they can't mess with it. People try, and they never can succeed to make it be their destiny. <laughs> Don't you hate how people think that your life is their life, and that they can stop it, copy, and steal all of your ideas? And if them, if them people had to live my life, they wouldn't be copying all that. You know that, right? Military person is a false. It's a false person. And uh, and his man's and his thoughts cause he got somebody pregnant. That's why stork come out, okay? All right, so I hope this reading helped you out there today. So somebody is stuck in an illusion. Uh, that they had a way, other way to go. There's a thief going to jail because you helped bring them down. They're going to prison. You brought it to life. And this man can't stop thinking about he's going to die at work. He's up in his head about dying at work. Are you listening? That's what it is. And he knows you're high honors and, and uh, that you might be closing out a cycle with him. And this military person, that was false to you. And that's why they can't stop thinking about it because they know that you're in this new beginning and, and he's got somebody pregnant. All right, 3111. I've got to get off here, you guys. I love you and I hope this helps somebody out there today in pieces. I'll see you back here in a little bit.